Good afternoon, Onefinity users. Well, it could be morning where you are, but it's afternoon where I am. Uh, anyhow, I'm just going to do a quick video here on right side controller mount. Uh, as you can see, I've got my little laser safe enclosure that's well, half open right now, but um, I've mounted my controller on the right just due to the way my setup is here and what side the machine is on. I thought I would prefer it that way. So we've got uh, enclosure and then outside the enclosure is my controller on the right side from front. Uh, so what I did is I ran the XZ uh, drag chain um, towards the front. Here's the first extender connecting at the XZ wires there. And then that comes across the front, a four foot extension wire. Uh, pretty much only gets you to the other mounting feet on the right. So I've attached another extension there. Uh, that's a four foot. Four foot may not be necessary. As you can see, I've got some extra coiled up, coiled up here. Uh, you could probably use a two foot, depending on how far back your uh, controller is going to be. And on the Y, standard hookup would be to have the short lead of the Y, which is Y2, hooked up on the left. This is the Y1 wire, the long lead, and the short wire Y2 is hooked up on the right. Um, instead of running an extra set of extensions, I thought it was easier just to flip that cable around. And then at the controller, just to be safe, I've ran the M2 wire into the M1 port and the M1 wire into the M2 port uh, due to this wire being flipped around from the factory setup. I doubt it really matters since these are ball screw driven motors and turn the same direction, but uh, thought it would be best to be safe. The only other thing, uh, I, what I did here, that it, it seems to be nice to keep the wires tidied up. I'm sure a lot of people are going to run them through their table and under. Um, but I've got these square edge guides here, one on the side, and this one goes on the front here like, uh, like this. And I just cut a slot on the bottom of this to run the wires through. It keeps everything pretty neat and tidy. And uh, I can take this off if I need to do tiling, and that still leaves the side one on. Um, if your piece of wood square really you kind of only need one edge guide um, but it's kind of nice to have two of them when you're doing small projects anyway I hope this helps uh, anybody that was wondering about right side controller mount uh, this is how I've done it I'm sure there's other ways you could easily you know run the drag chain out to the back if you want to run the XZ wires at the back um, if that's the case you're probably going to want the two four foot extensions for sure. Uh, anyway, feel free to comment or message me if you have any questions. Have a great day.